So earlier, we just calculated how to find the value for KSP using solubility. Now, we're going to find the value or solubility from KSP. And the math is almost the same. Just one part is different. So for example, and I'll take these examples, these are all in your notes, is that we are asked to find the solubility of copper sulfide in moles per dm cube. Your solubility is what? Solubility is the concentration of a saturated solution. And KSP is of that from a saturated solution. So we're given KSP and we forward to find the value for solubility. The method is almost the same as what we've been seeing. You first write the equation for the guy whose KSP they have given. You know, because that's a solid they want. That's a solid they want. So it's copper becoming copper sulfide becoming copper and sulfide. In this case, the ratio is 1 is to 1. And since now you don't know the solubility, you know, let's say it's x. So x will resolve to give me x and x. And KSP of this expression would be copper 2 plus into sulfide 2 minus. And copper 2 plus is x and sulfide is also x. So what do we get? We get x squared. But now we don't know the value for x. So we can't just plug it in. But x squared is equal to KSP. And we do know the value for KSP. So basically x squared is equal to 6.3 times 10 power minus 36. And this will literally give you the value for K, uh, the value for x, which is the solubility. So if you unroot this, you get 2.51 times 10 power minus 18 moles per dm cube. So basically, this is the solubility of copper sulfide. This solubility will give you this KSP. All right. Now, similarly, I mean, we can apply this to other questions too. And let's take a look at something that is not so straightforward. I mean, it's still straightforward. It just won't be x and x. Let's take a look at this. Also given in your notes, by the way. So given the solubility product, which is KSP, so solubility product is KSP of nickel hydroxide is this. Calculate the solubility of nickel hydroxide. So they have given the KSP of nickel hydroxide, which is NiOH. Uh, twice and that is 6.5 times 10 power minus 18 and so nickel hydroxide you can write the equation I mean you can do that in your head also but I like writing it down it's nickel aqueous and two hydroxide aqueous ions so what that means is if x dissolves it'll give me x and 2x and KSP would be between nickel ions and hydroxide ions squared and nickel is x and hydroxide is 2x what is x x is solubility x is how much dissolved so here 2x squared so what do i get i get 4x cubed and that's the value for ksp and we already know the value for ksp so we're gonna make 4x cubed equal to the value for ksp and then solve for x and so how do i solve for x i first divide it by 4 and then do a cube root here basically so I divided by 4, so x cubed, and then I do solved the cube rooted. It should give me x as 1.18 times 10 to the power of minus something, minus 6 moles per dm cube. Yeah, that'll be the value for Now this is the solubility of nickel hydroxide, which will then result in this KSP. All right, so let's see another question. Okay, so let's try this one. So the equation would be Ag carbonate, Ag2 carbonate, will make two moles of silver ions and one mole of carbonate ion. And x would give me x, 2x and x. And the Ksp would be silver ions squared because the coefficient is 2 and carbonate ions just like the Kc and that is 2x all square and that is x that should give you 4x cubed and that equals to 6.3 times 10 power minus 12 yeah and uh, what's the answer 
So what you do is x cube is the equivalent. First of all, you divide it by four, and then you cube root it. You know, it should be I think 1.16 times 10 power minus four moles per dm cube. Yeah. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.